Today I am going to show you how to create a custom brush in Procreate that enables you to create dotted pages in different sizes. So without further ado, let's begin. First, click this plus icon to create a new canvas. For this project, we are going to use a canvas with 5000 by 5000 pixels. Now let's change the background by clicking this layer icon and clicking the layer with the name background color. The color black can be selected by double clicking in this area. Next, we're going to turn on the drawing guide by clicking the actions icon here, selecting the canvas menu and turning on the drawing guide. So let's edit the drawing guide. If you are using the same size of canvas as I do, the grid size is 1,245 pixels. You can adjust by dragging the grid size or you can just edit it manually. You can use any color and value of thickness and opacity as you wish and feel comfortable with. I am just tweaking it here so it will show in this video. When you are ready, just click done. So what we need to do now is click the brush icon and on the calligraphy library, choose monoline. You should also check if your active color is white. If not, click the color icon and double click in the area of the white to automatically select it. To create the dotted pages, we have to first create a single dot by drawing a circle. You can do that by drawing a rough draft of the circle and while holding down your pencil, use your other hand and click on the screen. Then drag the color inside the circle to color it in. Now, most likely that your circle is not perfectly placed in the intersection of your drawing guide and it may not be the size that you want, that is okay. What we will do is click this arrow icon so we can resize it and move it around. If you are satisfied with the size and position of your circle, while the arrow icon is still on, swipe down with your three fingers, then click copy and paste. Then drag the duplicate to the nearest intersection of your drawing guide. Then click on our layer icon and as you can see we have one new layer now. So what we are going to do is slide the other unhighlighted layer to the right to choose both layers then pinch them in to join them both. Click the arrow icon again then swipe your three fingers down then copy and paste. Move the duplicate to the nearest intersections of the drawing guide. Join the layers by pinching them in to join them both. And if you want to select only some circles in this layer, you can use the selection icon, select the circles that you want, copy paste, then join the layers again. So you can repeat this process again until all the intersections in the drawing guide have a white circle in it. And this is almost done. Now let's just turn off the drawing guide and export our work into a PNG file. When the file is exported and saved in your designated folder, on the brush library, choose textures. And in there, you can see the grid type brush. The dotted brush that we want is similar to this one, except that it's dotted. <laughs> so we are going to duplicate it by sliding it to the left and clicking duplicate. On the duplicate brush, click on it and go to the grain. So we have to change the grain source by clicking edit, then import a photo, choose the PNG file that we created, and click done. 
you can change the name of the brush here and you can also add your name as the creator of this brush so lastly let's test it out on a new canvas so the trick here or the secret here to have a continuous grid is to not lift your pen up until you are done laying down your page And that's it for our dotted grid brush and if you find this helpful please subscribe and follow me on my socials till next time bye